what's going on, Nitro Gang, and everybody else that's not in the gang. But I, ho I hope you guys join because I understand we might have some viewers that, that like want to get on Nitro. They're not sure what to get. So I figured uh, let's go over the brand new 2023 gear guide. You know, the title says 500 items, guys. 500 items. But I got a question for for you and this magazine. Where is the beef, okay? Where is the sirloin? Where is the T-Max, all right? But for real, uh, kind of a dual conversation here today. Let me say hello to everyone that is here, and we will get down to the subject matter at hand, and that is making Nitro great again at all costs. I want to say special thanks to uh, Lucas Stolkup, just became a channel member once again. Uh, we got Joe Hutchinson, bro, I saw your race results today. You should have told me you were going to go race there. I would have gotten my three-cylinder turbo Nissan Rogue. Got like 37 miles a gallon. I would have done some video action, man. Okay, I bought a warm jacket. Bro, for real. The Nissan Turbo over here. 1.5 three-cylinder. Runs pretty surprisingly awesome, actually. Okay, we got JR's Moto Madness. How are you? Got ni the Nitro Gang Queen Melissa. Um, special thanks to Nitro and Electric RCs for a uh, big channel donation just before we go and we went live. Well, guys, um, got a lot of catching up to do, but for now, let me just uh, take a couple minutes to acknowledge you guys that are here. We got uh, Jeremy Stone. How you doing, my dude, A2RC? Make sure, guys, to go to A2RC's channel. He's making RS4s great again. I told Melissa earlier, make sure I go watch his latest video, and I forgot. I forgot. That's why you didn't see a comment from me. I'm sorry, bro. Okay? I got to tell you guys, I, I watch all of your videos, too. Um, I try to leave comments when I can, all right? Okay, we got ourselves. Backyard RC is here again with us. Awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, we got Rock and Roller RC. We know what you like, man. Rock and Roller. What's your favorite brand, though? You like you like Ozzy? You like a little uh, Avenge the Sevenfold? You like a little AFI? You like a little uh, no effects from the punk rock era? What do you like? We got my friend Rusty Nail over here. Now, guys, uh, let me just do a little catch up from what happened yesterday. In fact, I wasn't going to go over this um, bagel magazine today, okay? I wasn't going to. I was going to barbecue. I was going to get a burger. Actually, I did get a burger today, but more on the burger story in a little bit. Um, this is a pretty thick, thick, thick mamba over here, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go over it. Oh, Rock and Roller loves the go Guns N' Roses. Melissa, look up, look up some Guns N' Roses. We're gonna put them in a song for a Rock and Roller RC later, okay? Look them up, all right? All right. Oh, we got Nitro Talk with Todd. Happy to have you here, man. Uh, happy to have you here. Guys, Nitro Talk with Todd, also a great YouTuber. He's coming up close to a thousand subscribers from last I checked. Uh, go subscribe to his channel. He's a positive dude. If you want to know all about fuel line, body clips, vintage RCs, racing, being a good person, go to his channel as well, okay? Oh, RC show off here, sweet child. Oh, mine. Um, is there an XM satellite radio for them station? I know Ozzy, Ozzy has an XM Satellite station, but I gotta tell you, all the songs they play on XM Satellite for Ozzy suck, okay? I keep putting them on, don't hear anything I like, all right? Sickening. So guys, uh, today there was a quick little video on this T-Max. Anybody, anybody saw the video today on this T-Max? You know, probably nobody saw it because like, you know, uh, YouTube notifications basically only notify people when people buy lipos, okay? You go out and buy a lipo, um, You'll get a notification. You'll get a notification. But like in reality, you don't you go out and buy some nitro with like my link that I just posted to this uh top of the stream over here, VP Nitro Fuel, sickening quart for like $12 on sale right now. You're not gonna get no notifications. They're gonna keep them to themselves, bro. Okay? Now, that's right. Jeremy Stone saw the video, he knows all about the shock tower. So, guys, um, that clip from today's video wasn't obviously the whole video, right? So I was basically eating a burger on the couch today. So let me tell you what happened, okay? I basically got a burger from this world's worst place. They tried to kill me, and it was like $12. They overcharged me, you know. I, I think I got food poisoning now. Sick. Uh, so I was like, okay, what can I what can I release? What can I release? Oh, what's up, Nicholas Huntoon? Another awesome up-and-coming uh, YouTube star, I gotta say. 
Um, it's it's interesting. All of us have our own specific RCs that we uh, that we like to do. For me, I'm mostly like into well, really everything. You know, Nichols Huntoon also into everything. I gotta say, a two RC over here, mostly into HPIs, which is which is remarkable. It's remarkable. Um, Texas Hill, how you doing, man? Also into pretty much, I would say, many genres of RCs, but mostly on road. That, that's his thing. We all have a thing, you know. We it's, it's like a type for a chick. We have a type for a nitro. Right, so I'm going to remove the body in a little bit. Um, it got killed real bad, real bad. But I got to tell you guys, it's it's my own fault. Um, all aspects are, see how you doing, goes Team Savage. Yeah, can't kill a Savage either. Um, you know, for me, w one of the most important things, when you break something, own up to it. Like, own up to it, you know. And I'm owning up to um, a bad jump. So, uh, guys... That video from today isn't obviously the full video, okay? So don't think it's the full video. It's just a clip of, like, the damage, right? It's just a clip uh, of the damage. There'll be a much better, longer video with some buggy racing, some some awesome stuff going on. There'll be some background music. I'll probably mention that I have a white Nissan Rogue now, okay? It's white. Melissa wanted white. So did I. What does that make me? What does that make you if you want a white car? I don't know. The other day... Someone told me they don't like white cars. They get dirty. The thing is like, guess what? You wash your hands, they get dirty, right? Same logic applies, okay? Same logic applies. That's like saying, I don't like my hands because my hands get dirty. Does that make any sense at all? Go think of that. Go think of that. And let me know. Write an essay. Go to ChatGPT. I know there's some people here that like to test out their skills on ChatGPT. Let me tell you something. You ask ChatGPT if, if armas have leaking shocks, they will say, what, what's a leaking shock? Go ahead, do it. Shocks don't leak. It's wrong. Of course they leak. Oh, what's up? We got David VIP Auto. How you doing? Um, forgot what I was going to say, but basically he knows the situation. Some people, I've told the situation with that uh, Nitro from yesterday, the one that I tried really, really hard to fire up that I couldn't. Oh, what's up, Mighty Mike? How you doing? Happy to see you here, bro. Uh, thank you for being a channel member for a very long time as well. Uh, I want everybody to know um, I appreciate you guys, okay? Um, not really going to spend a lot of time on the Nitro from yesterday because, like, honestly, I was going to do a follow-up on that today. But, guys, the engine the engine will require a complete disassembly. Uh, I'm going to keep it a little bit of a mystery probably for next week. I, I'm just I'm not ready for that sickening repinch. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. They overpinched it, okay? They pinched it so much that they almost got money launderers out of it. You understand, like, the, the concept of pinching when the government pinches you? Okay, when they pinch you too hard, the money launderers fall out of the sky, okay? okay there you go. Good joke. All right, let me uh, continue, guys. Um, so the topic of today's video really will be this. We're just kind of uh, waiting for some viewers to come in here. Oh, we got off the chicks. How you doing? The sickening off the chick gang. Uh, the irony is, I was actually just looking at an Ofna deal on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's an Ofna Titan, I think. Uh, you guys want? I can like probably go check it out later. I tried to make an I tried to make a deal for this week, but so far we got no deals, no deals in the making. Guy don't didn't even respond. Tomorrow I'm trying to make a ramp deal. So unfortunately, the ramp killed this T Max. What were you gonna do? Um, so you guys want to take a look at the T-Max real quick and then we'll go into the magazine. I don't know how long I'll be here to be honest with you because like I, I really had to take like four antacid just now. I went to freaking anybody here in Staten Island. They, they might know Miller's Ale House. I had a gift card. I would never go to that junk place to begin with. The world worst service. Uh, employees there look like they want to throw up in the bathroom and then come shake your hand. Uh, but for real, that's like restaurants these days. You know, everyone feels like they're doing you a favor. You ever go to a restaurant... And like it's, it's like they're doing you a favor. They're not doing you a favor. You're paying, okay? You're doing them a favor, all right? One of the worst things you could ever think of yourself in the customer service industry is you're doing your customer a favor. You're not, okay? Good service technically has to be good with or without a tip, all right? Just right? I'm just going to leave that there. Just going to leave that there, all right? Now, uh, let's take a look at this team next. If you guys haven't seen the video with the crash, the damage, it was, it was my fault. It was legit my fault. Um, there was like R other RCs on the ramp and like guys, I was wearing like a head cam. So I was kind of like trying not to really move my head. Uh, so I probably should have done a better job with throttle control, right? But like what you don't see is the various other jumps this T-Max did take before 
before the damage, okay? So you didn't you didn't see the other damage, all right? Well, I don't want to say damage, but like, you know, you don't see the, the, the rest. You know, all of these armor videos, like you guys see them, like, oh, they're taking nonstop jumps. Look, they're 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 so reliable, they don't break at all. You're never gonna see a video with those guys repairing it. But why? Because like they don't do that, okay? But for me, you know what I did? I crashed it and I made a specific video calling myself an asshole for doing it. All right? What do you think about that? That's the ultimate accountability. Ultimate accountability for your nitro. All right? So let's take a look. Basically, the damage is in the rear. It's, it's not that bad. Um, if you like, you know, if you like suspension, you're, you're probably not going to like this damage, right? If you like having suspension, um, this is not going to give you any suspension is what I'm going to say. So obviously, the shock tower sheared itself uh, in two pieces. It's now, now a two-piece design. Um... Pretty much like armor shocks, right? They, they like to, like, you know, put the shock oil. Then they like to assemble the shock. Then they like to have the shock oil leak out. You know, they, they don't care about the rest, really, so... Right, but... <coughs> oh, sickening. But, um, you know, if you're, like, at the field, you can repair it, like, with zip ties. I know you guys are saying zip ties. Actually, this thing is designed to be a perfect repair with zip ties, right? Because there's, like, a perfect amount of space there for zip tie repairs. But... Um, I did order an RPM part. You guys saw it today in the video. I released the one, a little bit of a conversation there from A-Main Hobbies, right? Uh, and I did order the RPM parts. So basically, I do have the RPM shock tower. Um, it's it's going to be in the mail soon. I, I did choose the, the black color one. You know, I know a lot of us like the purple and the, like the blue. I think the blue RPM parts, and you guys could let me know what you think. I think the blue RPM parts... They're, they're kind of left in 2005. Um, what, what, what do you think? What, what do you think? Yeah, so if you guys didn't see the, the video on this today, I, I really implore, I encourage, I motivate you to go and um, look at today's video. It's like a quick-ass video. What's up, Dan? Why? Dan was there with me when I jumped this shit. You were there, right? Yeah. Basically, it was my fault, guys. It was legit my fault, you know. Um, I don't have the personality to blame other people. There's nobody here to blame but me. I took a couple jumps before this happened, and then one jump, I literally just landed on the roof, and, well, the shock tower gave way. Now we have a two-piece shock tower design, you know. Um, all right, but tomorrow, it's going to be a cold day. I might hit up the track, depending on my level of food poisoning, you know. If the level of food poisoning poisoning is under 35%, I'll go to the RC track. If it's over 35%, I'm not going to go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be chill at home day. Um, so let's see what you guys are saying, and we'll continue talking a little bit now. Uh, I read through some of the comments today in, in this video. Most of them were pretty positive. It's like, you know, oh, you crash it, so big deal, get another part. That's, that's normal type of shit, you know? I was expecting, like, oh, you get a T-Max, the world's worst design. It's so bad, it breaks all the time. Uh, the reality is none of that is actually true. It's false. It's, it's really false. Like, basically, uh, you know, the Kardashian family. They're, they're like the most false family in the world. But for some reason, I don't know what it is. You know, plastic surgery probably. Um, so we do have the part on order. Um, I don't have it yet. Basically just a shock tower. It, it could have been much worse, guys. It could have been much worse. But uh, we're lucky to even have, I guess, that. Uh, it jumped pretty well. It jumped pretty well. Now, in today's video... Uh, there were many other cars that you will eventually see, guys. Um, but, you know, th this is basically kind of like a, a short clip. Because, like, to be honest with you, I was expecting to go do some other stuff today. But then the plans fell through. Then I went to, like, Miller's Ale House. They, they tried to kill me with a burger. It's sickening. Like, what's a person got to do, you know? Like, for real. All right, let me go see what you guys are saying. Um, uh, some people said, you know, it was a little cold, so the cold could have contributed to the, uh, you know, increased fragility of the parts. But the reality is this this is like a very old T-Max, all right? It's very old. Uh, I've driven this one pretty much almost everywhere. It's bad. It's been bashed a lot. Um, rear shock tower broke. Who cares? It's not bad. It's better than having a diff break every single time you go run your armor, all right? What do you guys think about that? Is that a logical statement? I think it is. Or right, we got Jack. Hughes, how you doing? He goes, send it. I sent it. I sent it real far. Oh, we got Kenny Bowers. How are you, my friend? Happy to see you here. Um, let's see. Integrity RC is here with us today. A um, couple minutes. We'll go over this magazine. Really, the question we want to ask ourselves, guys. 2023 gear guide. I'm going to tell you something. I did not look through this magazine yet, okay? I'm, I'm going to save uh, the disappointment, and I hope I don't have to say that. I'm going to save the disappointment for this video. 
okay? Um, I don't want to have to say that because, like, some of the writers and editors of this magazine are in the Nitro Gang Facebook group, and they're, they're good people. They gave me a chance to write some articles, and I did. Uh, but I understand the way the market's going. They want to see crawlers. They want to see small, small trash. I don't know. They want to see, like, I, I don't know, like, catheters or something. Like, I don't know what they want to see. But basically, I don't have any of that, right? I have none of that. I have zero of that, right? All right. Um, oh, Joe Hutchinson goes, I need to catch up. So you got a new Nissan. So basically, yes, uh, Melissa's uh, lease was up on the Honda. Um, there were like maybe two or three payments left on it. Luckily, you know, there's a great leasing company here in Staten Island. They do like nationwide car delivery, wherever you want to go. They got branches and stuff like that. Uh, VIP leasing. You look them up. They're very good. Uh, they gave us a fantastic deal out of Nissan Rogue, like a very nice model, like legit the nicest ever, you know. Uh, they took the old Honda back. Never want to see that piece of garbage again. You know, the Honda HRV was an okay car if you like very small, rough riding, bad fuel efficiency vehicles. Uh, if you like that, the HRV is awesome. But like, if you don't like small, rough riding, bad fuel efficiency, uncomfortable seat vehicles um, with no safety features of almost any kind other than seat belts, then then don't, don't get one. You know. But that's just a little conversation here. Uh, we're gonna continue, guys. So. The T-Max, I'm still waiting for the parts over here is basically it for now, right? We got ourselves a, um, a two-piece shock tower design right here. Oh, by the way, uh, I did place an order for the electric start system. So um, I think it was, what was it, Daniel Patterson in the Facebook group that showed pictures of the electric start uh, system working on it. So I did place an order for an electric start unit. I'm just waiting for a LiPo 3S battery to fit into this unit. And uh, we will do the electric start onboard electric start system. Okay, so I will do it. We will explore it. We'll make it greater than ever. All right, we're not going to go to a hobby shop in the UK. We're not going to do that. We're not going to bully small channels. All right, we're not going to spread lies about how a Range Rover is better than a Prius. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to make this T-Max greater than it was yesterday. That's all I'm going to do, right? You okay with that? I think we're okay with that. All right, so we're going to move the T-Max from the table now. Um, put it under the table. It's, it likes to be under the table, okay? It's safer. There's there's no jumps under the table, guys. It's jump-free, guaranteed. I'm, I'm looking at the table. There's no jumps. A uh, few minutes, guys, uh, and we will uh, continue uh, with this uh, magazine. So place place your bets right now. Who thinks we have at least one nitro-related item inside? Now, I'm not even asking for, like, an actual RTR nitro or something like that. Uh, just maybe, like, a picture of a bottle of fuel, like a picture of a glow driver, like, literally literally a glow plug, you know? If we have a glow plug, it's 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 at least a glow plug, guys. But it, it's, it's going to be a stretch. It's, it's going to be a stretch. All right? Um, let me check out what's going on here in uh, the stream. And we'll, we'll, we'll continue, everybody. By the way, I just posted a link uh, right there on top. It is the main the main link to some nitro fuel. So I know Bones Brew, I'm, I'm really low myself right now. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the link. If you want to go buy it, it's probably going to be the best deal that you can get for, for nitro fuel right now. Um, because Bones Brew left us high and dry, everybody. They left us high. They left you and me dry. L literally, I got no fuel. You... Well, I have a little bit, but like it's basically no more. So I'm going to show you guys right now, and I'll. Uh... All right. So I put a pinned comment right here. It's basically a comment. If you want to check it out, click this pinned comment, and we can go check out the link to uh, the fuel. It's it's basically the best blend cost fuel I found so far. Now there there are a lot of other blends. Uh, I I find 25% nitro to be very very good. Yeah, you can get 30. But 25 is also very good. 9% synthetic castor oil blend is very good. So the main thing is it's on a massive sale. Normally, this is like, you know, $16.99, uh, you know, 13 bucks is, is it, it's a sale, you know. So it's pretty good, pretty good fuel. Also, if you run like a lot of um, vintage style nitros, uh, you don't really want to go with 30%. What you want is like a little bit of a lower uh, nitro content. So this is good. The rest of the fuels are also good. But this is the one I would order right now if... Um, you know, if you have the possibility. Uh, another thing, once again, check out the Black Friday deals listing I put. And also, I just did another search. And guys, there is a Nova 21 that's on a massive sale right now. Right here, I'm going to click this link. So if you if you buy anything from A-Main, 
please open up the browsers from my links because like, you know, this, this channel is pretty poor. Um, we want to get some of that YouTube money, you know, but it's, it's really difficult. So I've never really seen the Nova engines ever go on sale. 20% off right now. I mean, that's, that's pretty remarkable guys. Um, uh, you know, this is basically meant for like off-road, maybe buggy style racing. What's up, Soren? How you doing, man? Uh, I really recommend, you know, if you're going to buy something right now is like the time to buy it because like th these engines almost really never go on sale. Uh, now, now is the time. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, we're going to continue. So what do you all think? Are we going to have literally any nitro in this magazine? So let's see what it says. It's a car action. What's up, Leo Watson, man? How you doing? All right. That's right. A2RC agrees that that is a good blend for uh, even more of the vintage nitro engines. Uh, you know, today we're all kind of spoiled. Many of us have been running the 30% bones brew because like basically it was legit the same style of uh, cost. It was like legit the same cost as really 20% nitro on their site. So like we all got used to running 30. What's up, Dodger boy, bro? But reality, long ago, I started out running 20%. Like, I only ran 20. You know, it was really Bones Brew that kind of spoiled me there. Um, sickening. Uh, Nathan Jorstad, you know you're always welcome here along with everybody else. This is a good positive channel. You know, you eat some dinner. Uh, what are you having, man? What are you having? I, I had some uh, burger to try to kill me before. So let's see. They got 500 items. The newest RC drops. So all I basically see are like carbs on the color these are covered these like carbs that's that's like you know basically uh, an oven used to create a carb and you put that carb which is a bagel uh, into one of these rcs sickening the ultimate carb right there the lipo battery i'm just kidding around guys Th these are these are fun too these are fun too okay let me not be a hater there's many haters in our community but um listen we're, we're being objective i i think we're being objective you know, we're, we're being objective, guys. So uh, let me give a, a little bit of a time delay here. Read some of your comments. How you doing there, MPTRC, bro? Sorry I didn't, haven't responded to your comments lately. I've uh, been kind of uh, overwhelmed, you know, with, with bad burgers today, really. Let's try to kill me. Um, <coughs> all right, Lotus 420, man. Been a sickening member of the middle levels for 21 months. That's, that's many months, man. That is, that you could have had two and a half babies in those months, bro. Two and a half. Nine plus nine, you know, 18. Well, two and one third baby, okay? Did you, did you, have, a, did you have a baby in that time? You, you had a baby. You got a nitro, didn't you? you yeah, you, you, you had a baby for sure. I know you did. Shit, you had two because you got a rampage as well. I know. All right. Let's, um, you guys want to continue or we can talk a little bit more about T-Maxes or what. Um, as people start to come in, maybe I'll refresh everyone's memories on the Nitro from yesterday, the Kyosho USA 1. Uh, shit, not the USA 1. I meant, uh, what, did I, what did I mean? The GT1, the GT1. So basically, uh, I'll have to come back to it. I'm going to have to fully disassemble that engine. What happened is really bad. I didn't expect that to happen. Now, yes, we didn't start it yesterday for a very obvious reason. Does anybody want to guess the reason why it didn't start? Anybody want to want to guess a reason why? There's a few people here that know why. I have a video why it didn't start, but I'm not going to premiere it now uh, because it just don't make no sense. Oh, Dan, why? Been a member of the higher level gang for 16 months. He definitely had many, many babies of RC of RC levels because I was there with him. We bought some of them together. Does, what does that make us, man? What does that make us? I don't know. Makes us people with a nitro, with, a, with nitros in a trunk, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, everybody, we're going to continue. I was actually looking to pick out, uh, like, a vintage uh, old RC car action magazine, but um, maybe I'll do that. I'll see how I feel. I don't feel that good today. You know, sickening. The food chain must be real bad. They must be having problems with, like, getting proper quality meat products. You know, I went to Costco today, guys. I went to Costco, and, and, and I look around, and I look around, and I'm thinking to myself, you know the term soy boy? The, the, the term soy boy. Anybody heard the term soy boy? It's basically a term used to describe electric lovers. Um, I'm kidding around. It's not, it's not at all. It's not at all. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically meant to describe like the woke, the woke generation. What's up, Polar Pork Customs? How are you, bro? Um, okay. So literally everything is like, oh, I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, this has vegetables in it. Oh man. 
th th this has like carrots, that has raisins. I'm thinking to myself, did I, did I just become a soy boy? I don't want to be one of those, okay? Then I went over to like the meat section and I got some bacon, okay? But then you know what happened. I had to put the bacon back because it was expensive. Sickening. They priced me out of the bacon market. Sick. All right, let's, 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 let's continue. Oh, Dodger Boy bought that work light. I saw that work light in there circular, bro. It's a really nice work light. I, I, I think I might get that too. All right. Sickening. We lost some viewers just now, but like those must be all the soy boys, right? You guys the soy boys that just left? It's okay. You could stay out. All right. Let's, uh, let's get down to RC Magazine business. Uh, show and tell now. I, I will still keep subscri subscribing to it because like, you know, uh, it, it's like the lottery, right? It's like the lottery. Whenever you got a lottery ticket, you never know if there's going to be a winner. Just like this, you never know if there's going to be a Nitro. What's up, Harlem NYC RC? How you doing, bro? Uh, I appreciate you always commenting, man, on the videos. I want you to know um, I, I see your comments, okay? I just was lazy, all right, to respond. I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's my fault. I'll, I'll hit myself later for you, okay? All right. Yeah, th there you go. Let's, let's, let's continue. All right, so I'm going to set up over here, guys, and we'll uh, review the magazine. Uh, it's a lot of pages, so we'll see. It's probably all going to be Traxxas ads. I honestly have not looked at it yet, but what do you think it's going to be? Probably something really bad, but it's okay. It's better than Jenny Craig ads, right? Might, well, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Did Jenny Craig ever have good ads? I have no idea. I was never on a Jenny method, okay? All right. Let's uh, continue, everybody. I'm going to set up here to have some proper lighting. One second. I'm, uh, let me just get the... the Oh, Rusty Nail Man, thank you for that. Uh, to buy some Nitro. Yeah, man, well, currently the funds are going towards the T-Max Restoration Funds and the Nitro. <laughs> I'm glad you recognize that, man. I appreciate that as well. All right. Um, I'll also show you guys maybe a little bit of an RC deal on Facebook Marketplace in a little bit. I'm not totally sure if I want it, right? I tried to make a deal, but, like, the guy didn't respond, so whatever. I mean, it's all right. I'm not going to blame no, no people. It's not like they have a, a, a duty to respond to you, you know? Whatever. Okay. Um, you guys let me know if the quality is okay. I'm going to try my best not to uh, shake or vibrate anything here. All right. So it should be, you should be able to see. Uh, what's up there, Nitro Express RC? Bro, I want you to know. I'm going to read your comment. That, that's, a good, that's a good comment. Uh, he goes, Nitro Express RC goes, had no choice but to join the dark side. Kids got me a vendetta. Bro, I got to say, I love the vendetta. I have a vendetta. In fact, where is my vendetta? Do you guys want me to show it? I could show you my vendetta right now. I legit have a vendetta. I, I, I really like it. I won't drive it pretty much anywhere other than the front of my house. Because, like, I, I, I don't even want to have it in the car. But it honestly is a fantastic driving vehicle with a very good traction. Uh, it, and I, 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 I'll tell you something, guys. I've said it to some people before. I, I really do enjoy 3S. 3S. Uh, electrics 3s electrics are pretty good i don't really like above 3s i think it's a, it's a it's a waste above 3s is like you you have what's known as diminishing returns you know what i mean let me see if i have my armor you guys want to see the armor vendetta maybe uh you know what i put it really far away so i don't think about it okay so there, there you go all right let's uh let's open it up guys i'm sure we'll come across an armor in this magazine just let me know if like you know the visibility is okay i'll try to control the glare I think uh, right now the view is pretty good of this magazine. I don't know if we can get any better. This is probably the best it's ever going to be. This is like the Shawn Michaels of uh, RC Magazine views right here. Uh, interesting setup here. It's kind of the first time I've seen this. It's an ad for a ramp. So it looks like a stackable ramp system going on. Let me see what it says. Uh, you know, I think I saw this online today. It, it was like 300 bucks. I mean, I, I, I think they could keep it. You know, to be honest with you, I think they can keep it. I don't really want it for 300 bucks. I think it was 300 bucks. Yeah, Nickel Santuna agrees here. It's kind of overkill after 3S. The reality is, okay, there's like the fit scale low CDB XL. All right, so what? Okay, there's, there's like a, a Nissan Titan pickup truck. It's a great truck. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have that. All right, let's, let's continue. Actually, that don't even make sense because a Nissan Titan is, is a gas car. I should, have, I should have used the Ford F-150 Lightning as an example. My bad about that. Hey, Melissa, do you got anything to say to people here today? I'm just curious if you have, like, any, any, any comments. 
man, if, if the lighting is real bad, I'm going to have to, like, figure this out. I don't know why it's, like, sometimes, like, uh, really bad like this. Let me try to fix this a little, okay? All right. We're going to make this magazine a little manlier. There we go. Just made it manlier. Oh, what's up, Kellen's Automotive Man? A longtime channel member and viewer and friend of mine. Happy to see you here. All right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with electrics. I, I got, I, I, guys, I literally have three armors, okay? Which means three times four. Well, I have over 12 nitro, so I satisfy, you know, I satisfy the, the armor ratio, okay? You're allowed to have one electric for every ni four nitro, so that, that's okay. All right, so, the, yeah, this, this one has seen better days. But i um, rebuilding it right now, basically. It's from uh, the Revo Survivor Edition, guys. All right. Okay, uh, by the way, everybody, t today's uh, T-Max video is probably the lowest rated video ever. Um, I I'm probably going to delete it. I mean, I was kind of proud of the fact that, like, yes, it broke, and I'm being honest and showing you what happened. But, like, uh, it's not good for the YouTube algorithm, you know. I understand, you know, you could be humble to a certain degree, but at some level, uh, really ugly people from the U.K., that pay hobby shops, they try to kill you. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I can't be living with that. I can't be letting them do that, right? Okay, let's uh, continue. So here we have just basically chargers. We have chargers. We have like FMS uh, something over here. I don't, I don't know what that is. Like, you know, them like some old crap. All right. Uh, chargers, probably too much money. All right, uh, here we got an ad for, I don't even know, whatever. All right, let's 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 continue, everybody. So 2023 Reader's Rides of the Year. Um, what do you think? You think we'll have any Nitro in there or what? Man, the view is pretty good right now. I'm a little, I'm a little happy with the, with the actual view right now on the magazine. It's very hard to get uh, low glare, guys. I just want you to know, based on the lights I use, um, if you out there ever try to do videos like this, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, let's continue. So here we have a bagel on the floor. Basically, like you know, you you take one, you roll it on the floor. Uh, all right, it's it's not my thing. I, I'm not really like an interior design type of person. I I, I like more of a mechanical. So that's I guess why you know Nitro is kind of like this channel's uh thing. <coughs> all right, now let's continue here. Somebody, I guess, built built a Jeep or something. It's it's, it's cool. I I don't even I don't even like really know what to say about these like the thing is yeah the design is cool but the thing is these are all pictures right in real life these drive they drive super slow um there's no excitement there's no yelling two-speed baby uh there's no smoke there's no oil there's just lipos but let's not be too negative but it, it's kind of difficult because like what are you actually looking at here you don't like the early, what's up there, Woogie, Nitro Man, how you doing? You don't like the early 2000s when rappers had grills in their mouth. They had grills. And now they got billions of dollars. They went from grills to billions of dollars. You think this is going to go to billions of dollars? It's not. It'll never go to that. All right? At least the grill turned into some muggy money, bro. Hey, we got me. How you doing? With the, th with the, with the hand, how are you? All right. Let's, uh, let's continue. Um, I don't even know what that is. This is, like, some crap. Uh, I mean, guys, I do have a crawler. In fact, I have, like, two crawlers. I have a Red Cat Gen 8. They're very cool technology for what they are. But, um, that, that's about it, you know? All right, so, here we got, a somebody built, like, a Toyota. It's, it's cool. Toyotas are good, but, like... Oh, Joe Hutchinson goes, bring back spinners. Bro, I still have my spinner. I actually made a video about a fidget spinner a long time ago. Most useless thing ever. I don't even know how they became a fad. They were terrible. I, I still have it. And I have a video about it, too. Um, me, you, you basically missed more electrics. Really not, nothing that exciting. But for everyone just joining, we're doing the review of this uh, Ultimate Gear Guide. This is the 2023, I guess, end of year uh, magazine from RC Car Action, right? Uh, I am a subscriber. Just because it doesn't have Nitro in it doesn't mean I'm not going to subscribe. So just, just so you understand. Like, and I'm not doing this to make fun of them. It's just, it's just interesting. All right. 
I gotta say, I do like this Jeep. I do like this Jeep. Oh, Kellen's Automotive. Yes, I did see that uh, T-Max, the Bill T-Max. You know, I don't know why I didn't review that magazine. I have it somewhere. I must have I must have put it under my pillow because it had a nitro. I probably think so. I probably think. All right. So here we have, looks like a Tamiya, you know, one of their pickup, one of their uh, semi-trucks. These are pretty cool, actually. Oh, Rusty Nail Border Revo. Finally, man, you're going to be yelling two-speed baby. Uh, be careful with that reverse, though, you know. Uh, but it's no big deal in the reverse, honestly, because, like, even if your reverse fails, the reverse elimination forward-only conversion is legit, like, $12. Oh, man, Joe Hutchinson goes, the low-C yo-yos are making a comeback. I remember them, dude. The low-C, it was called a yo-yo, it was called a yo, um, something. Yo-ofna or something. They had ofna yo-yos, too. I remember those yo-yos, yeah. We gotta get yo-yos again. Why not? All right, here we go. Some, some... Electric bagel vans over here, you know. Bagel electric vans. I I, I just, you know... Uh, you guys want me to get more in-depth with these? Like, uh, it's all, like, custom stuff. It's it's not that interesting. They put, like, Hobby Wing electronics and, like, some custom light bars, and they think that it's cool. Like, there's nothing unique about this. This is hella boring. Yo, well, what, what's unique about this, bro? I don't know. You tell me. Write me an essay. Okay? I'll publish it. Right, sickening. All right, let's uh, let's continue. So here we have the Traxxas Stampede four x four. Um, I remember having the older edition of these. These were actually quite quite impressive cars for that time period. Uh, some of the early electric uh, VXL models, actually. All right. Um, so here we're gonna go into you know, kid grade, kid grade Bigfoot crap. Um, be beyond kid grade, I mean, you know what? I think I should pull out an old RC magazine and do a random page flip. I think I should do that. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull out an old RC magazine. What we'll do, every time we see something really gay on here, and I don't mean gay in the form of the lifestyle, I mean more like disgusting, reprehensible, beyond nasty, overpriced, gross, uh, I'll, I'll do a page flip of a vintage Nitro magazine, okay? So I might have talked about this one earlier but not not really in this magazine what's up max settings man happy to have you here okay you guys are on my side okay that's good random page flip everybody okay well that that one's too small you can't really see it what the hell is that well uh, that one's boring okay we got a sen random page flip well third random page flip we got a sen fun factor i think it's a fun no mt2 I think it's an MT2. It's a, it's an old send. They're basically all kind of similar, right? It's a nitro. It's a nitro. And we got an all uh, aluminum out dynamite T-Max. All right? There's no fruity pebbles on this page. Okay? John Cena can't even do a move to this T-Max, bro. Can't do it. Okay? Brock Lesnar cannot F5 this nitro. Okay? Because he'll never find one. They're too old. All right? Brock Lesnar. Don't even try. Don't even be a Heyman guy, okay? Don't do it. All right. Page flip done. All right. I also have other Nitro magazines, by the way. That's that's not the only one, guys. That That is not the only one. In fact, I might actually send Melissa on a mission. That's how Rooster knows. He knows it's the bottom line. He knows. Okay, I might actually send Melissa on a mission right now to get some more magazines from my bedroom. All right? Yeah. Uh, Kellen's Automotive, I totally agree. I, I, you know, I've given the electrics many, many chances. I just put them back in the box after the first one, and that's it. I look at the chassis, I'm like, shit, can I still resell this as new? And then I put it back. All right. Next up, oh my god, I'm going to have to flip through more magazines now. Holy moly. I'm going to have to send Melissa on a mission. Uh, I, don't worry, I got it, guys, I got it. You were worried, weren't you? Don't worry. We got the XTM uh, X, X factor on the cover here. All right. You were worried, weren't you? I, I know. So now we're going to have to do a random page flip with this one because we have, we have no choice. They're making me do it. All right. Here we go. Okay, so we got a chick. We got some... 
tires. What's that? A Nitro a Mugen MRX3. I think we deserve another flip. Just random down the line. Well, it's not bad. That's a nice little spread over there. What's that? Harm one fifth scale RTR. Uh, Nitro and Electric RC. The answer is yes, I do. I actually have many of those. Believe it or not. Uh, look at the Dodge Viper, bro. So it says we can't call this Harm one fifth scale inexpensive. It's fifteen hundred dollars. Twenty three cc solo engine and JR radio. What else we got over here? Oh wow, look at that. The old school Trinity Serio engine. We got a Nitro RS43 Type SS. Golden years. These these the golden years, bro. All right. Sickening. Some offners. Titan. All right. That's uh, the random page flip of the day. Let's continue, everybody. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of old magazines with all this nonsense in here. You know what? Actually, um, this this is actually kind of cool. I, I like the Haas. I like the Haas. It, it's a it's a smaller truck. It's not a giant model. I do like the Haas. I'm not gonna say nothing bad about it. I do like the Haas, and I do like the Slash. All right. I won't. I'm not gonna put these two down. At least they are fast and they're brushless. At least. You you guys on my side or what? Next up, we got the Max, the 4S Max. Um, I'm also not going to say anything bad about this. I like this. I like this one as well. I've uh, done a video on this before. It was very, very impressive. It's a pretty powerful truck. You can run a single 4S or a 3S on this. So I do like the fact that you don't really need two, two, two LiPos to begin with. All right. Yeah, Michael Graham goes the Haas is overpowered. Yeah, this is a very powerful truck. It's a very powerful truck. I would say uh, a really good electric monster truck, in my opinion. That's not an X-Max. Yeah, Kellen's Automotive agrees. Uh, I'm, I'm glad all of us are on, like, the same page, guys. You see that? I I'm being fair. I'm being fair. I'm not just putting them down because they're electric. So I'm saying it how it is with, like, reason and rationality. You guys, you guys agree with me on the rationality part? That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's, uh, let's continue. Oh, wow. That's remarkable right there. All right. Next up, we have uh, the TRX-4 crawlers. Um, okay. Th these are very, very good crawlers. Okay. I'm not going to say nothing bad about them. Um, these are very good crawlers. They're probably the best crawlers they make. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Th these are very good crawlers. Um, I don't have one. They're too expensive. Uh, would I buy one? Pro probably not, unless they go on like a 50% sale. Oh, this is, the, this is the TRX-4M. My bad, bro. My bad. This is the TRX-4M. Um, still pretty good value. P pretty good value. All right. Let's uh, continue over here. Next up, we have the Sledge. This is going to require a stack of magazines now. This is going to require something special, everybody. I'm going to have to show you something. I'm going to have to show you something, guys. Are you looking at the ceiling? Are you looking at the ceiling right now? That's that's the ceiling. So that's, that's the ceiling over there, right? So I'm going to get up right now. And I'm going to get a special magazine that is uh, right over there. That's You see right there? I keep the special magazines basically right there. Okay, that's the special one that gets hidden. For uh, some good shit. Oh, what's up, Bevan's Racing, bro? How you doing? I'm gonna get up right now. Oh. This is the special magazine. It's okay, don't worry about it. Um, guys. 
I, I wasn't kidding around. This, this, this is the special magazine, okay? Do you see what's on the cover right there? There's basically every element of love on this magazine in this hobby. There's a Savage 21, a Red Body, the El Camino, Dual Shocks, and an RC Chiquita, okay? It's an RC Chiquita right here. I didn't put her on the cover. The Nitro Gang put her on the cover back then, all right? Today, you think you're going to find Chiquitas in the magazine? Maybe a post-op. Probably a pre-op. You know I can hear you every word you said, right? Melissa's spying on me from, from upstairs over there. Don't worry, Melissa. The new magazine's only got pre-ops. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to come down. We're going to flip this one, okay? Melissa told me not to show the girls. I'm watching you. You're watching me? Yes. Don't worry. We got many watchers of this channel. Mm, everyone loves being on my channel. Savage 21. Mugen Buggy. Free poster. Do we have the poster still? I don't know. Probably already put it on my wall at one time. Probably. All right, guys. Um, once again, thank you all for being here. You know, if you like this video, please, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up, uh, support the channel. If you're not a channel member, join, join the channel. There's like cool videos you could see that only members can see. Okay. All right. Let's, let's continue. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to probably review it in this way now. It's hard for me to kind of. Kellen's Automotive, that's a good one right there. The Baja 5T RC car action. I don't think that was ever featured, was it? I'm not totally sure, to be honest with you, man. All right. All right. I'm going to try to flip it this way, maybe. If the glare is bad, well, I'm sorry about that. All right, we got a TRX 6. I, I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh yeah, that's... Uh, okay, I do know what that is. That's that's the, the hauler model, right? The big-ass 6x6 uh, six six hauler. I've seen a video on this. This thing is basically slower, slower than a Caterpillar. And not a construction equipment one. Legit Caterpillar. Okay? I would say it's slower than a turtle. But that's okay. Oh, James Simroth, man. How you doing? Happy to see you here, as always. Oh... Counts Automotive, I don't have that RC car action. If I had it, I would send it to you. I don't have anything from, like, I think 2009 and up. You know? All right. Let's continue. Here we have the TRX-4. Um, this is what started the entire crawling trend, right? For, for Traxxas, really. I think it did. Really a nice really a nice truck. I got legit nothing bad to say about it. Other than uh, I do want one, and I feel bad for saying that. But if all of a sudden it fell into my lap... I would run it on the rocks in front of my house, okay? That, that's all I would do. All right. Shit, my bad. Sorry, let me fix the, the camera a little bit, guys. I'm having camera problems today. Um, is anybody hungry for a snack? Got a question for you guys. Are, are you hungry? You want to do one more page flip? Yeah, Xavier goes, the locking diffs are, are very great. The system is pretty unique. I will say it's very unique. But today, uh, almost all crawlers have it. It's, it's really not that unique anymore. Oh, my God, we got some chargers. I'm going to need a snack to, uh, to, to, to not piss me off right now. Um, we're going to need a snack right now. All right. Got to take a little break because I saw a bunch of chargers. Made me a little bit, uh, a little bit upset. So, uh, you guys, you want a snack? Any, anybody wants a snack or what? All right, because I got a snack. It's under the table. I, I'm not even joking. There's legit a snack under the table. Good point there from Rusty Nail. Crawlers hold their value. I constantly see people uh, on Facebook Marketplace trying to trade stuff for crawlers. All the time. I guess if you bought a bunch of cheap crawlers, you could try, probably try to trade them for nitros and make some money. But, like, I never went that way. Okay, so it's time to get some... It's time to get some snacks. This is the snack of the day. We got a lot. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I, I told you guys I went to Costco, right? This is what Costco had. I'm not playing around. Which one should I have? 
I don't think I ever tried the snowball. Anybody ever have the snowball? I never had the snowball. All right. I'm gonna open it up. I'm a little hungry. So like a bunch of electrics made me angry. It's okay. Kidding around, guys. All right, but so let's open it up. Okay, we're gonna have the snowball. Me over here says snowball. I don't think I ever had the snowball. I'm serious. All right. I honestly don't know what it says about the crawler gang. Like, if you could easily sell them used crawlers, like, and make money on them. That says, like, they don't have enough brain cells, to be honest with you guys. That means they got zero brain cells, because, like, why would they not buy it online themselves? I just, I just don't understand. Oh, we got Earl Moorhead. How you doing, bro? Thank you for being here. What's up, Melissa? Nothing. Are you here for a snack? Yes. Oh, she's looking at me, guys. Yes, sir. You're here for a snack? Yep. Come get it. I'm right here. All right. It's sickening. Okay, so we got, I guess, two types. What do you, what do you want? I'm going to try the cupcake. We don't try things on this channel. We do things, Melissa. We do things. Okay? Well, I'm going to have the cupcake. You're going to have the cupcake? Yeah. So you're telling me I have to open up two packages? What do you think we are? Made of money? We drive a three-cylinder vehicle. He's not talking about fucking money. It's three cylinders. They forgot one. Sickening. All right. I don't know, guys. I'm... I'm kind of digging this snowball. I never had one. I don't know. It's going to make me want to watch a Christmas carol. <laughs> you're, really, trying to... you're really going to do this to me. I'm live. Oh, we're doing it, baby. Are you serious? I can easily go over there and get it. All right. Hey, hey. <laughs> we got to pay the toll. Get $10 toll. $10. We don't do high fives. High fives, what do you think? We're in gym class? <laughs> Get out of there. You can't stop me. I'm stopping you. You can't stop me. She in my way, bro. Your point is... I want to try the snowball. Then try the snowball. You don't have to... I can Stop it. Stop telling Hold me. on a second. Stop telling me what to do. I'm doing it slow for the orphan chicks. Thank you. It's a useless battle, guys. It is a useless, it's useless. battle. You can't always win, babe. Check it out. Wrong way to open it. Snowball. Wrong way to open it, dude. I don't care. We just gotta go in. I gotta say, this is pretty This is pretty impressive. Uh, this is this cupcake one, guys. Oh, yeah, the cupcake? Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to eat a little bit because I'm kind of sick. So a bunch of electrics made me sick. Taking this back upstairs. Grab a Literally does look like a snowball. It's pretty, pretty, pretty incredible. Okay, let, me, let me take a little bite, guys. Mm. Do you think I like it? So, the exterior effect is coconut. I do not like coconut. And the white part is marshmallow. Why would they do that? This is not enjoyable at all. I don't think I can finish this. It's literally like biting into a giant marshmallow with coconut on the outside. It's it's terrible. Alright. Alright guys. I I I I cannot eat that. It's 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 terrible. It wasn't even on sale. Right. I'm gonna have to go get a big fat juicy burger from Wendy's after this. 
Yeah, Nitro Queen made the better choice. Yeah, Rossi Nail says they need it. That was disgusting. It was a giant marshmallow with coconut on the outside with tasteless cake on the inside. My eyes are, 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 are literally cold right now and hurting from it. All right, let's continue. All right. So next up. No, Melissa, I don't want a cupcake. I'm angry now. I was really trying to enjoy a snowball. It was, it was the world's worst confection. All right. Sick. All right, let's let's continue. Yeah, Pecan's Automotive. I, I really would like the Dave's Double, to be honest with you. I, I like the Dave's Double. You can't beat a, a, a Dave's Double. It's a perfect amount of meat and cheese, you know? All right, let's continue. Baconator, a little salty for me. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to drink like a gallon of Coke after. All right, let's continue. Here we have the uh, Traxxas Raptor. Got to tell you guys, I kind of like this thing. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Should I order this for the channel? So this is basically, I was reading about it. Uh, this is the extended slash chassis uh, with, a, you know, I guess licensed Ford Raptor styling, right? Let's face it. I drive a Prius, a Grand Marquis, and a Nissan Rogue. I'll never own a Ford Raptor. This might be my only shot. All right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. These are a little up there in the 500s, but like, I, I gotta say... I, I kind of like this. So what do they say? 60 mile per hour. It's a 10th scale. We have lights in, in the bumper over there on the bottom. Beefy, chunky tires. We have clipless body mounting. Pro scale design. Oh, Mighty Mike says he bought one and it's awesome. Mighty Mike, dude, I think I'm going to order one of these. Um, I don't want to have to tell you that, bro. But like, uh, because this is the Nitro Gang. But honestly, this would be a, re a really nice like car for, for the RC track, I think. You know, um, I did love the Slash. Uh, when they were first released and this one's about I think like an inch and a half longer and slightly larger tires with the LEDs and clipless body mounts I think this would be a really good chassis maybe even a nitro swap this is exactly I don't know I I, I, I kind of like this chassis to be honest with you I don't know man maybe I have a head cold or I'm feeling crazy now but like I think I like this all right let's continue Oh, MPTRC, man, good comment there on the EK4. You know, man, I haven't come across any of them at all. Like, it's really, it's really bad, dude. Not, not at all. Like, that was a big uh, thing I wanted to get for the channel. Haven't come across any. <coughs> all right. Next up, we have, well, we already know all of this, all about this, the XL1, 100 mile per hour. I had this thing when it was brand new. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. All right, so now the four techs basically all are electric. It's pretty embarrassing. It's pretty embarrassing. I, I never thought that they would come when we would have electric four techs. But that's what we got. Tracks of stand. These are pretty cool. I actually have one of these now. Uh, X-Max and the Earl Morehead Special XRT. Yeah, Earl Borja goes, I pulled the nitro string too much yesterday. Look at that of electrics. You might be correct, dude. Well, it's not my fault. This new uh, 500 item gear guide is all 100% electric. Sick. So, basically, yes. All right, we got a question here. I'll, I'll, I'll see what it is. Can't answer that question because that doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Yeah, Nitro and Electric RC goes, uh, maybe the Nitro Slash. So, I already have Nitro Slash on the channel many times, you know. So, if I got it again, um, I would I, I would have to consider it. I would have to really consider it. Well, let's, let's continue, guys. Uh, so, here, a bunch of really boring electric accessories. We're going to have to do a Nitro Flip now. All right. Nitro Flip time. Who knows where it will end, guys? Who knows where it will end? Nitro flip. Oh, yeah. First random page flip, and we got success, my dudes. We got major success. We got the Kyosho Mad Force. This is actually a version of this truck is on sale in A-Main right now, the three-speed, right? 
with a much better engine, with a much beefier drivetrain, uh, the USA-1. They claim 43 miles per hour. Yeah, right. Maybe these trucks hit 34. Maybe. Maybe. They were like really under power point 21s. But, you know, this was the, the, the days of uh, Volkswagen running wild, faking, uh, you know, diesel emissions for the past 25 years. Next to it, we got the RS43 Lamborghini. Then, we got the Kyosho F2001 Evolution, which is an 8 scale pan car. Then, we got the most awesome looking TRX 2.5 engine. Uh, one cylinder Ferrari. What the hell's that? Some kind of fit, fit scale, I think. Nah, this is just, I don't even know what that is. What the hell is that? Uh, Rusty Neon wants to know what year is this magazine? Um, so, this is 2003. Great, great year. Great year. You know, if you bought like a house in this year, you got a good, you got a good rate. If you bought a house in 02, you got an even better rate. If you rented, you're probably poor now. Okay. So we'll do another random page flip. What do we got over here? Oh, you know what? We're going to go one page back because I see something exciting. You guys know what that is, right? That's a Schumacher Fusion. This is, at the time, and I think still now, currently the fastest Nitro 10-scale touring car uh, really ever made. With a .21, right? Because think about it. Really, only Schumacher used .21 engines in the 10 scales. No one else did at this time. I think these were rated to hit like uh, close to, they were rated for 80. I don't think anyone actually ever hit 80. But um, yeah, these were three speed, .21, rear exhaust, um, belt drive style cars. They were sickening. There's a three speed. You know, this is pre CVT. CVTs didn't even, actually, yeah, CVTs existed in Priuses though. Yeah, CVTs existed. The Prius had a CVT. Sickening. <coughs> All right. So we're going to take a break from this random page flip. Let's go back to the all electric magazine. Next up, we have. Um, New model? What what's new about it? It's a Tamiya. I don't I don't know what, what they keep saying things are new. There's there's nothing new. It's it's legit the same old model it's always been except like a different body. You know, it's, there's nothing new. What what's new? So this must be um, literally all of their semi trucks from I guess what is this Tamiya or something? I, I don't even. I'm I'm not really excited about this. Uh, me, how you doing? He goes, hi, but can you tell the difference between the engines? Um, let, what do you mean by that? Like, y you can tell different, you mean like when you're running the engine, when you're running the different engines, like in terms of like power band, can you, can you be a little more specific? Like when you say, can I tell the difference between the engines? Um, tell me what you mean, like in terms of like their, their, their driving performance or uh, in terms of like tuning, in terms of like how they look. What do you mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna answer your oh the makes yeah you could tell a difference. So basically all engines right you 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 could always tell a difference. It's very easy. Like I'll show you just an obvious example. I mean the cooling head right. This is an OS18 TZ one. The cooling head will always be a branded cooling head. Like pretty much people in the nitro hobby uh, for a long time we would know that this is an OS head. No other head would look like this. Literally nothing else. Okay, this is a unique head only for the OS18 TZ turbo. Also, the logo would be on top, right? So th there's pretty much no mistaking it. Um, you know, even if you have like something like this, uh, which is like a low end one, track star, you know, it's a point twenty one size head. The head button will go on the bottom, right? And the screws, yeah, they they will be completely unique looking. There's there's no way anyone in in the hobby for like over you know a couple of years would mistake uh, a branded head. Like it, it's impossible. Okay. All right. Let's continue, everybody. Next up, we have, uh, I guess, some kind of roll cage. Tamiya or something. I don't know what that is. 
uh, BB01 chassis. I don't know. Oh, Megan goes, me goes, most of my engines don't have a head. I mean, well, I mean, then they're not complete, right? Um, well, I don't know. Are you wearing them as like necklaces like me? I'm just, I'm just kidding around. Uh, let's see what else I can maybe show you in terms of engines that like it would be obvious maybe, right? Let's, let's see. All right, so um, another most obvious engine. This is the Megatech Dark Thunder Dragster, right? So the Megatech engines, you know, not to mention it says it on top. It would also say it on the side somewhere, right? It, usually the, the blocks have a stamped number or logo or something that would be identifiable. So this is a uh, 0.16, 1.6 horsepower. It's a very, very powerful engine for the small block displacement. It's a very, very rare nitro model. It's a two-speed. These are claimed to hit 60 miles per hour in under two seconds. That's its claim to fame. Um, it's very badass. Yeah, it's it's beyond badass. This is badassery right here. It's you know I was lucky to get this. This this one literally looks like it has never been ran at all, like ever. You know. Yeah, Megatech. I'm I'm a big Megatech fan. Sickening. I need to do a little bit of work on this because like the fuel lines are pretty much destroyed right now, but it's it's like new. We got a two speed. The bottom of the chassis. It's super clean. Look at that. Super super clean, right? Beautiful. So the bottom ch uh, chassis is supposed to flex, uh, basically just like a real drag drag car would. All right, let's put it back. All right, let's uh, continue, guys. <sighs> oh, getting tired over here, man. Getting tired looking at electric. It's making me angry. <coughs> Let me get something interesting for the table. I, I can't have so much electric around here. It's 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 really distracting. All right. All right. I'm gonna put something really 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 exciting next to it, guys. This was a very popular engine brand a long, long time ago. Uh, street price was $234, which is a shit ton of money for a small block engine, right? It's a rear exhaust slide carb, peak racing. From California, Yorba Linda. Earl Moorhead, is that near where you, where you are, Yorba Linda? Oh no, all right. I'm gonna show you guys some, some reality over here, okay? You wanna see some reality or what? I don't think this this has ever been taken out of the box. So should I uh, take it out? You guys want to see it? A nice oil in there for protection. Logo is the P for Peak Racing. Got ourselves a nice slide carp. Look at that. It's not even seized. This engine is such high quality, it's not even seized. Top says peak racing. Fresh. This thing is fresh. Rear exhaust. Very rare to see a... Look at that tiny little exhaust port on that. That's that's, that's nice, guys. That That is nice. Notice we have a pilot shaft. So almost all race engines had pilot shafts. Beautiful. So it's brand new. I can pull it over if you want. It'll be fine. This is a high, high, really nice engine. Check this out. Yeah. All right. I have the glow plug a little bit loose in there. 
Um, that's why you heard a little bit of a noise, right? But the, it's, it's basically brand new. Beyond sickening, Jimmy G. It's a two-needle carb. This is the low-speed needle. Idle screw. High-speed needle. Oh, Mad Mike, how are you? Yeah, man, Serio, Serio is remarkable. Serio is, is beyond, is better than this one. These engines kind of, I think for uh, like the, the on-road TC3, pretty much anything 10 scale on-road, this would be a go-to engine. Anything 10 scale on-road. Let me see if I have any other interesting engines, guys, okay? I have I have a, another one if you guys want to check it out. This is a, a vintage OS RG engine. This is literally we're talking like 1990s over here, guys. 1990s OS. It's in very good shape. Literally nothing wrong with this one. Uh, the unique feature on this model, it's a .21 size engine. The unique thing is the exhaust port. They use a unique exhaust port, so. Notice there's a gasket similar to how you would have on like a small block engine. Because normally, you know, all rear exhaust engines have a round port these days, right? This one, the RG, had its own unique manifold. And if you get one of these without that manifold, you're screwed. All right? You are screwed. Nice uh, OS carb, fresh carb boot. Check it out. Does it slide? It should be. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it slides. So this engine is in very good shape. I might run it somewhere. I'm, I was saving this for a vintage project. Uh, actually for the Kyosho. One of my old Kyoshos, I think, or like an old Thunder Tiger I was saving this for. Uh, no scratches on the cooling head, right? These were run in mostly the eight scale buggies back then for racing. Beautiful OS pull starter. Nothing wrong with it, and it has a very, very great compression. Beyond great compression. Made in Japan, just like my Prius. Yeah, Joe Hutchinson, good point right here. He goes, best engine for the original Nitro Crusher. That's right, that's the USA 1 style truck. It was called the Nitro Crusher. Kyosho. Yeah, this is basically the top dog engine, right? Um, back then. Next up, I have, what's this? It's a Ofna, it's a Hyper 21, I think. So this right here <coughs> is an original uh, Ofna Hyper 21. Perfect. Notice we have a port here. Uh, you would use this for a boost port or a boost bottle. Basically, you would remove this and put in a um, like an inlet. What is it called? A fuel line? A fuel line inlet thing? What is that called? A uh, a fitting? A fuel fitting? Like a like a you know fuel line fitting, and you could have a separate boost boost bottle. So this one is a sealed back plate, of course. Hyper twenty one. Say uh, a three needle carb. So we have the low speed needle. We have the mid range. 
We also have the high-speed needle, right? Cooling head is, is like new. Hyper 21. So there were, uh, like, uh, different models of this, uh, known as the 8-port. Although I did research, and it seems that this is an 8-port also, but, like, I don't know why. The purple cooling head models were a little more expensive than this. Uh, but this, this one is the boost port model. Beyond sickening, guys. Look at that inside. You know what? We're going to get a good view. You want a good view? I'll give you a view. Look at that view. Sickening. All right, time to put it back into the bag. This would need to be running like some kind of vintage Ofna buggy, something with uh, you know good access to us to a flywheel for a starter box. That's right, best view ever, Dodger boy man. Thank you. MPTRC. I do not remember the big block 15s. If you have any info about it, I'd appreciate it if you put it in. I'll, I'll do some research on it, you know? I appreciate that. Always uh, happy to hear some new and exciting items. All right, we're going to continue. We'll just have some engines here in the background for fun, right? Oh, man. I'm getting tired, everybody. I'm going to do a couple more pages, and that's it. I appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to do a couple more pages. Um, more electrics. Whoopie doo. Um, don't, don't care at all. I would prefer a poorly cooked hot dog compared to this. Uh, man, Mike, man, goes, do I have any cereal? Um, I have a cereal that's already installed. Let me take a look. Uh, don't worry, guys. That's that's not pastrami in there, okay? I promise that's not pastrami. Uh, all right. Uh, Rusty Nail Man, thank you for checking out this video. See you in the future, man, okay? This is uh, Team Associated 15. It's it's pretty much a regular ready-to-run motor. It's not, nothing exciting, but uh, these were pretty great engines, in my opinion. They were pilot shaft engines, 0.15 side exhaust. These do also happen to be a nice two-needle carburetor. So this is your low-speed needle. High speed. Uh, we're just missing a filter element there. Um, also, rotary style carbs. All right, this one is pretty good. It has very good compression. One way bearing is okay. So, this was the engine out of the last generation Team Associated TC3. Also, some of the RC10 GTs came with uh, variations of this one. Right. It's not a very good looking engine, but I'm telling you, these were good high RPM engines. They ran well, and uh, they really didn't let you down. Next up over here, we have some pastrami in here, okay? Because I'm hungry, guys. We got some pastrami. I don't even know what's in there, but it feels too heavy for pastrami. I hope I didn't get overcharged, All right? Yeah, Earl Moorhead is correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, plane engines generally have side exhaust uh, ports like this. Good point on that one. Small block engines almost always use these, unless it's like a race engine. Then they always have the rear exhaust. But this is like uh, the world's best pastrami from like a high end deli. Okay, so th this is uh, an SH, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a GS pastrami bagel. GS racing guys. R uh, 18 ST, very tasty pastrami. The only thing is I'm missing the carburetor on this model. Pretty reliable pull starters. These are like typical SH pull starters. Notice this is, uh, yes, it's a small block engine, 
but we do have a rear exhaust. So a lot of the higher performance engines did come with the rear exhaust. Let's see, can we? Oh, we got crazy compression, guys. I don't think I could even spin this over. Let me try to uh, a little bit. Okay, yeah, it spun over a little bit. I'm not going to get too crazy on it because uh, it's uh, basically this a brand new engine. Let me show you on the inside there. Check out that internals of the Pastrami. Looks good, huh? That port seems a little high there. Notice how uh, it could be a little ported there on the sleeve. Hmm, sickening. Yeah, but um, this would be a good engine for, like, you know, pretty much any XTM. Because they also had rear exhaust engines like this. Not really for, well, you could use these. No, you can't really use these for RC10 GTs. You would need, unless you modify it extensively, right? Uh, basically, HPI, this would not work for any HPI other than the R40. Uh, because you would need rear exhaust uh, setup on that. Let's put it back into its pastrami uh, container. Everybody knows good delis use paper, right? You know, like when you go to a supermarket, you could tell a lot based on how they wrap your pastrami. You could tell a lot. There we go. One pound of pastrami right there. Um, all right, everybody. Um, I'm going to be here for maybe two minutes. Anybody want to see one last page flip and then I'm going to go. I appreciate you guys being here. One last page flip. I didn't even finish this. Uh, I'm not motivated right now, guys. I'm just not motivated, you know. Uh, one last page flip or what? Uh, we could do it. Don't really like that flip. Okay, so here we got the Ofna buggy. The classic Force 25 engine. Pretty reliable power plant. Almost all of us have had an Ofna buggy at some point in our life. It's basically what they look like. They um, they look kind of, uh, you know, Rubik's Cube-like. Makes you want to play a game of chess. But then you realize you don't play chess because you're not a nerd. You're a Nitro Gang member. Right? So for that, because of the Nitro Gang members, I'll, I'll, I'm going to flip to the ultimate page. This is a Bergenzoni, right? And that is an $879 vehicle. Um, awesome Honda Civic body. I mean, Honda Accord. Yeah, Mark, Mark, man, how you doing? Um, yeah, off the chicks plays chess. Off the chicks, you want to you wanna teach me? I, I honestly don't know chess, which is ironic. Because, like, my culture, they love chess, okay? You know what I played as a kid? Street Fighter, okay, and Tetris, all right, sickening, uh, what do they like, features, disc brakes, threaded shocks, uh, Boss 23cc engine, never heard of an engine called Boss 23cc, what the hell is that, uh, this thing is pretty, pretty impeccable, guys, pretty impeccable, all right, everybody, It's been real. Um, I'm sad to report there's probably zero nitros in here. <sighs> all right, guys. Uh, going to cut this uh, live in a little bit here. Everybody, thank you all for watching. Um, once again, I put some really good links in the description to this video and the pinned comment. If you want to get fuel, you're here in America, you know. Um, or not, I think they, they, well, you know, you can come across the border now if you want. I mean, shit, you're not in America, just go through Mexico. They accept everybody, you know, just don't, don't get killed there because they extort people there right now. So yeah, if you're, if you're not in America, you want to deal from aiming because it's like an American supplier, just go cross through the border. New York is accepting everybody. You know, you'll live in a luxury hotel. Um, I'm a well gainfully employed civil servant. I make less than probably immigrants right now, but it's okay, guys. I'm not upset. You know why? Because I got vintage Nitro magazines, okay? And I got got a good good thing. I got I got good things, okay? We all got good, we got bad. Uh, but the goal is to become better, uh, not to be a bully. Don't make fake accounts and go troll people. Don't do that, okay? 
If you do, I feel bad for you. Okay, I feel bad. Right, I'm going to say uh, goodbye to everybody, guys. Uh, tomorrow, I might hit up the RC track. I don't know what's going to go down yet. My T-Max is busted right now. I really do want to run that green T-Max again. I love it. That's my go-to T-Max, you know. Um, buddy T-Max Tony might show up. I don't know. Although rumor has it he might be hitting the gym tomorrow. So who the hell knows what's going to happen. Everybody, all, all you guys, see you later. Thank you for watching. Um, buy the fuel. I put the link. Great freaking fuel. Sickening. See you all later. Okay, good.